Hello, welcome to part three of the Turtle Dialogue tutorial set here. Um, should be the last one. But uh, in between part two and part three, just now, I, I went ahead and went through and set up the rest of the phonemes as well as some eye shapes, eyebrow shapes, or poses, actually. So let's just, let's see how they look. Let's select all of the facial bones. And here's a little, the little thumbnails that I showed you how to do. But um, I'd like to show it without, you know, I'd like to use it without the uh, asset browser open. So I'm going to make my main 3D viewport bigger. Hit the end button to bring up these tools over here and go to animation. You can see I have all of those, the pose library that I created, all of those facial expressions right here. So if I go F, just remember over here you just have to click on it. If you're in the asset browser, you have to double click. All right, so that's how it works. Pretty, pretty neato. All right, so I'm going to clear out everything. Alt G clears out all the movements. And now, as I mentioned, I'm going to bring in some dialogue. And this is from the first movie. Let me get rid of this shape key right, or the uh, keyframe right there. Uh, let me split this window into two. There we go. Grab this one up. Drag this one. Let me collapse that one. There we go. All right, so this one's going to be the video sequencer. And I'm going to import, I'm going to add in a sound clip. And as you can say, you can imagine, wise man say, forgiveness, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. So I put that in there, hit the end button. I'm going to turn on the display waveform so I can see a little better uh, where the sound waves showing in. I'm going to move that down to frame one. Uh, I need my time controls here, so let's make this the timeline. There we go. All the way to frame zero. And zoom in. Okay, so we're there on frame zero. And we don't need to go any further than here. See, I got, apparently I have shape keys on, the, or uh, keyframes on the camera. There we go. All right. So I just want it to go to right there. So 146. I'm going to change the end frame to 146. Okay. So let me go to solid view and turn his subsurface subdivision surface off so it anim animates a little smoother. Um, my computer's not the strongest in the world anymore. It used to be a pretty monster machine, but over time and technology upgrades, it's kind of mid-tier now rather than high upper tier but in any case let's look at uh real quick shape keys when uh i left part two he had just i'd gone up to jaw jut so that's the jaw jutting out and then i also made blink left and right with the left and right vertex groups the blink lower the blink upper the brow up and the brow down so that pretty much gives me all of these uh, shape keys that I can combine to make all of these different facial expressions. So, okay, let's head back up. All right, so we're ready to animate. Let's see what this sounds like. Let me zoom in so I can see my waveform a little bigger. And if I go to playback here, click on that, you can go change the sync. I'm going to sync to audio and set the audio to scrubbing. So turn that up a little bit. All right, so let's rewind and play. Wise man say forgiveness is divine but never pay full price for late pizza. Okay, so that in the movie that's you don't actually see Michelangelo saying these words because you got the pizza delivery driver up there hearing him. That's why it sounds so distant. But we're going to animate him saying this uh wise man say wise man say. So let's jump back here to the beginning. <laughs> and I'm going to split this window up one more time. It'll let me. There we go. And this one's going to be my dope sheet. Boom. And in my dope sheet, I'm going to change it to action editor. I'm going to name this one Wise Man Say. Okay. Go ahead and get rid of that keyframe. All right. So now I select all of these guys. Oh, that I had his mesh selected, so that's where it put that Wise Man Say um, uh, action. So I, I don't want that. I want it to be on his rig. So let's see if I can. There we go. All right. So 
wise man say so that's going to start off right there that's the beginning of the sound that you actually start hearing get it zoomed in a little bit further we can change the volume a little louder too by just changing that there but now wise man say so start off okay up to right here he's going to start making an ooh sound wise man so before that i want him to have a relatively neutral expression. I'm not going to animate his eyes at all right now. Matter of fact, just so I don't accidentally select them, I'm going to grab them and hide them. So I select them all, hit H, and it hides them. Also, I didn't set up the shape keys for the snarl, so I don't really need those on there. So now all we have is the mouth controls and such. Okay, so I got those all selected. So first off, I need them to have a neutral expression. So let me collapse this there we go that'd be a little better okay so neutral I've got three different neutral poses well, let me go through I have um, a I o a e i o u the vowel sounds and the f and then I got the eyes blinking the eyebrows down eyes open eyebrows up I m b p is kind of mm, the lips pressed together pooching out just a little bit then just some neutral expressions for in between sounds and ooh and the s k d and they all pretty much have the same facial shape as you're making those words and then uh okay so let's go with the neutral can just pop that in there we're gonna zoom up here okay so we're gonna say ooh why why I where's the I there it is wise man so he's Wise, and then have a S sound in here. Boom. And then a M. Mm. There we go. Eh. Let's make this a little bigger so we can see more of them. Okay, now we can see all of them. Okay. All right. Wise man. Boom. S. So then we have the N and S sound that are on the same shape key. Wise man say. So, in, so I can skip over that one and just put the say sound again. Then pop a neutral one in here. Let's go with uh, neutral two. So let's see if it looks like what he's saying. Wise man say. Yeah, not too bad. Wise man say. Forgive then forgiveness, we need the F shape for giveness. Giveness is gonna the G G sounds a lot like the K sound, so let's put that in there. And he's got to say for for forgive. V. It's the same as the F. N E S. Sometimes you gotta really tweak it to, to get it to look right, but this is the basics. So Divine, but never divine, but never So this apparently is where he's saying divine. So wise man. Forgiveness is for need an or sound an O shape in there. It's about right there. So let's move that. Instead of an ooh, let's just put a kind of a basic uh, for for give. Say forgiveness is divine, but forgiveness is. Is the. Vine's gonna be about right there. Forgiveness is divine. Give ne eh. This needs to open a little more. Oh. 
There we go. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is divine. Divine. Actually, let's make an I. Wise man say forgiveness is divine, but never. But. But. T -t 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 can't really see the tongue, so we're just going to use the same as the S K D N D T. But. And then ne. Ver. Go to the F V. K. Fool. Rise. That should be for late pizza. Late pizza. Let's see what it looks like so far. Wise man say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late. Not too bad. Rice. The or oh L L L L. I don't have an L shape, do I? So that can be one of the neutrals. Say neutral one. Wait. And then B pizza. P pizza. Okay, so that's all of it. Probably mistimed it a little bit here. Oh, yeah. Pay full price for late pizza. All right, so we need to shrink. That's four late pizza. Let's change these and make them a little smaller. Price for late pizza. Okay, I've got a little bit extra. Full price. For late full price for yeah, let's move these all down a little bit. That's a trick of getting the dialogue to match up with the lips is a lot of tweaking. It can look good on the scrubber, but as soon as you play it it might be off. For late pizza. Okay, so it needs to end here. That's let's take out a couple of these. Maybe that'll make it look a little better. Okay, so after he says pizza, we can go back to a neutral expression. Boom. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Let's zoom in a little bit. Wise man say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. That's not too bad. Changes a little bit. Price for late pizza. There we go. Okay, so that's not too bad. Wise man say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Alright, so that'll work as far as the lip syncing goes. Now, um, what if I want him to be moving around, the rest of his body? Well, we've got the facial uh, expression set up, wise man say. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the little shield thing there so it locks that in no matter what. Um, another couple of things we can do as he's moving his mouth. He's going to be blinking and moving his eyebrows and such. So uh, let's let's go through there and, and animate some of that. So I unhid, alt H, unhid uh, the, I don't need my look at targets, but I need my eyebrows and eyelid targets. So, so let's say wise man say. So he's going to lift his eyebrows up. Boom. Actually start off with them down. Alt G cleared out. Wise man say. Maybe blink. And the eyes open. And then I'm gonna clear out his eyebrows. Alt G. Actually, I want him to be up a little. Maybe just one of them. Why? 
wise man say, forgiveness is divine. So wise man say, and then I'm gonna have him, his eyebrows are gonna come back down. Not quite angry, but. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is divine. Okay, I accidentally added in an extra keyframe there. Forgiveness is divine. But never pay. Full price for the late pizza. And then have them come out back up at the top. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Wise man say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. So let's have his eyebrows move a little quicker. Okay, so that worked. Let me grab his eyelids now, and we'll add in a couple of more blink spots. So eyes open, you need to put a keyframe for the eyes to be open. A little a couple frames further. Um, eyes blink. A couple frames further. Eyes open. Okay. Alright, so let's see what it looks like now. Let's turn the rig off, so we just have that. Hide the camera frame there. Let's see what it looks like. Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Why? Okay, so we got his. Let's turn the rig back on. We got his face moving. I want his head to be moving now. Now what we could do is create a whole other. Um, sh uh, well, let's go. Let's go ahead and do that. We've got this locked in. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and I'm gonna create a new action here. And this one's gonna be wise man say body motion. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the facial controls layer off. Just get back to the the actual deformation and let's start this beginning already there so I'm gonna have him tilt in his head I've got automatic keyframes insertion turned on wise man say now this is gonna be more like uh, <laughs> more like Power Rangers I guess rather than Ninja Turtles because his face is not gonna be moving right now just yet we'll get to that spot where we mix them together later on so I'm gonna say wise man say Wise man say. Let's move it a little faster. Wise man say. Forget. Okay. Wise man say. No further on. Nope. Just the one. There we go. And we can expand this out so we can see which bones are animating. Just the head. Wise man say. Forgiveness is divine. But never. A full price for late pizza. Okay. Wise man say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Okay, so it doesn't really look that good, or that, I mean, that it looks good, but it doesn't look. Uh, the way we want because we don't have the, the face expressions on there, but well like I said we'll add those to it Let me Get the rest of his body looking a little more natural Okay, so let's add in instead of just his head moving. Let's add his whole upper body is Grab all these guys and I can move the whole thing and grab his spine too but Let's just do that. So let's animate. Let's give him some some liveliness. Okay, let me select all these just to leave them. There we go. Okay, so he's gonna be leaning back and to the left. His his right, our left. His man say. Man, like he's telling you a secret. Why his man say? Forgiveness is divine. But never pay full price.
light pizza. Okay, so now let's see what it all looks like together. Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for light pizza. Okay, so that looks alright. Good enough. So now, like I said, I want to mix these two actions together. So you go got wise man say body, and then just wise man say for his face. Uh, let me go ahead and turn that shield on just so it makes sure it saves it. Save that. I'm going to collapse or expand this panel, and I'm going to go to uh, nonlinear animation. So, as you can see, over here on the nonlinear animation, we have the rig selected. And if we scroll down here, you've got, you can see these little ghosted keyframes there. So I'm going to click that, push down action, boom. Okay. Then I'm going to grab the wise man say there. Push that down action. So now we have push the wise man say and wise man say body. So these are stacked on top of each other here in the wise man, or excuse me, <laughs> the uh, nonlinear animation window. So if I hit the end button, I can get that part out of the way. So now, if I screw, you can see he's moving his mouth along with the upper body. So if we turn this one on, we only have the body movement. Turn that one back on, turn that one off, we only have the face movement. Okay, so we turn them both on together. Hide the rig so we can see what he's doing. Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. All right. So there we go. All right, let me set up the camera. Clear that out. Get this camera back. I can select it. Camera. There we go. All right. Now select that. Let's set the settings back to 1920 by 1080. 1080. There we go and set the zoom way back down to about I like to say 55 alright so if we look through our material view shader view it's rendered it's gonna look better than that because it's gonna have the subdivision scatter subdivision surface on wise man say forgiveness is divine but never pay full price for late pizza Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Okay, so I'm going to save this, and I'm going to render it out. I'm going to pause recording, but I'll render it out so you guys can see the final version. So, I'll be right back. You know what, just in case you're not familiar with how to render things out, um, right now I have the the properties panel over here. If you go down to the little, it looks like a little printer printing out a little picture. I'm going to do that, and under Output, I'm going to click my little file folder there, and I'm going to name this one Wise Man Say. Okay, I like to put an underscore after that because Blender likes to throw the frame, the frame numbers, amount of frames on there at the end. FFmpeg Video is the one I want, so let's go to Encoding. So in Container is going to be MPEG-4, good. Video Codec H.264, good. High Quality, good. Audio codec, this is very important. You want to select, uh, I like to use MP3. You can use whichever one you like, but MP3 seems to give me pretty good results. So now, if I export, it's going to be an uh, MPEG, MP4 video, MPEG4, and it's going to have the MP3 audio. So it's going to say wise man say dot MP4. So I'll render that out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that rendered out. Let's uh, bring it into this video sequencer just to see what it looks like here in Blender. I'm going to add in a movie, and I'm going to say Wise Man Say. All right, so let's bring that over to the beginning. I'm going to stretch this out. I'm going to set this sequencer to show sequencer and preview. So there we go. And wind all the way, bring that all the way back to frame one, if I can get it lined up. There we go. All right, so let's see how it looks here. Wise man. Actually, let me turn this one actually completely off. Boop. And then let's merge these. Oopsie. There we go. Oy. Never can get this the way I want it. There we go. All right. Now let's see. Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Okay, so it's a little jittery. You can see the frame amount there, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll just throw this uh, video clip in there at the end of this recording so you can see the full-fledged 
animation there, and I'll also um, um, you know loop it a couple of times. So, all right, that's going to be it for this. Hopefully, you learned a thing or two and enjoyed looking at Michelangelo here as he speaks about <laughs> wise men being divine. But that's going to be it for this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.